the Ryobi Lithium Ion 1 Plus. Now, bit of a mouthful, but this 18 volt, 600 watt electric mower can well mow small to medium places. So I'm gonna give it a go today and let you know if it's any good, if you should buy it or maybe avoid it. Welcome everyone, my name's Chris and this is going to be a review about this electric mower. Now, looking at it, it's kind of small and it's suggestive of the fact of, well, it actually is designed for small to medium places. In fact, it even says on the box. Now, under the front here, you've got your battery pack and you can buy spares of these and, well, the interchange with other products that Ryobi actually make, which is awesome because you know, you've got a cordless drill, a uh, cordless something, doesn't matter what you've got, if it's cordless, these things can plug into it. So there's two little buttons that you press on the side there, and just out of reference, this is a 72 watt hour lithium ion battery pack. So it doesn't matter if you charge it after doing a little mow and charge it back up, this thing won't matter, it won't get a memory effect. So good to know, and like in my situation with our house, I'm recharging this little, little baby with um, the sun, which is good to do, isn't it, right? There's a few things I like about this mower and well, a few things I don't like. Starting off with the safety features. Under here, where you put the battery in, there is a safety little red doovie whacker. We'll call it a doovie whacker. And basically, with this out, this mower cannot start. So if you need to service it and get underneath there to uh, service those 33 centimetre diameter blades, you can do that. Next safety feature, to actually make it run, you've got to push the button in and push it. In terms of noise, you can hear it is surprisingly loud, but as soon as I take my hand off, it stops. And well, it does actually suggest it's gonna be like 88 decibels. When you see me mowing, I'm mowing with those headphones on, well headphones, <laughs> ear protection on, for a good reason, because, you know, protect your ears, peeps. You've only got the one set for your whole life, so treat them well. Things I don't like, it's very plastic, extremely plastic. It's, it's so light, I can pick it up with one hand. I don't think that's even five kilograms with that battery. And it's because the whole thing is essentially made from, or almost the whole thing, from plastic, and you can feel it. This handle to try and change the height with is impossible. It, it, moving it up and down, I, I got very frustrated with it. Next up, the clearance of this is very limited. It's like only about four different stops. So if you've got very high grass, this thing is gonna get bogged down in it. And well, essentially keep on top of your grass cutting because as soon as your grass gets long, this thing won't be able to cope. Next thing I don't like, the catcher. One, it's too small. Two, it's extremely hard to get in. Fine, getting it out, easy as, but putting it back in, oh. There's like two little notches here and one and one is slightly different to the other one. So maneuvering it is a little bit of a dance between, is it on, is it off? Oh, that side's on, let's get this side on. No, I can't get that side on. Oh, that's a little bit super frustrating. Oh. So, uh, would, would I recommend this? Well, to be honest, for the price, no. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. I think that for the, for the amount of money that Ryobi is actually asking here, either reduce it by another $100 and then I would definitely recommend it. So if it was on sale, get it. I wouldn't pay more than $250, $200 for this thing. Definitely only suited to small, medium properties. Uh, does this house um, and our lawn is perfectly fine. We've got a, like only a 650 block and well, it's okay. This cutting that I did today, it took me about one third the time more. Um, the narrow nature of it means that you've got to be doing more up and down lines. And well, it's, set, it's got edge to edge technology, which basically means the blade goes right to the edge of the device. But as you can see from this video, it can still get easily caught under things. And well, with this electric power cord here, which is snaking itself around the outside, already there's like some abrasion marks on the cord. And well, I don't think I'm gonna get zapped. It's probably just like a relay. So there's no, there's no true electricity, probably very low voltage going through here. So, but I think this will be the first thing that will break on this. 
is this cable. And if I could mount it on the inside, I would. And if I tape it down with electrical tape, I would. But well, it's not mine, so I won't be doing that. If you can, stretch for the larger Ryobi. That thing has definitely better adjustment for the height, larger diameter with the cutting blade, and obviously a larger motor as well. And it's a big step up, but I think long term, you know, most mowers that I've ever purchased, and I've been mowing lawns 20 plus years now, and I'm just a dad with, you know, a family. Hopefully this thing, because it doesn't need petrol, it doesn't need oil, will keep going for a very, very long time. And well, if that's appealing to you, definitely get it. But just remember, the size of this catcher and the difficulty getting it on, and the fact that there's no cruise control, yeah, the cruise control could be better. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing or join me over there, there on Patreon. Uh, from as little as like a coffee per month, you can get behind the scenes content, early access to um, videos, polls, and well, a lot more. And well, if you do nothing, be good, be green. <laughs> <laughs>